By the mid-16th century, Ganj Dare, originally famous as one of the earliest Neolithic farming villages in the Zagros Mountains, was part of the Safavid Empire. The Safavid dynasty, founded by Shah Ismail I and ruled at this time by Shah Tamasp I, was a major Persianate power rivaling the Ottoman Empire to the west and the Mughal Empire to the east. During this time period, Persian was the lingua franca of administration and literature, though Kurdish or Luri dialects dominated locally around Ganj Dare. Architecture was characterized by mud-brick homes and rural shrines, with urban centers showing intricate Safavid tilework and gardens. Sufi mysticism and Shia religious devotion were prominent spiritual expressions. For this video, I've prepared a 16th century genome from Ganj Dare, Iran. This person is a female carrying the mitochondrial lineage U1A. She carried around 1.5% Neanderthal ancestry, which is typical for the region she is from. This Mesolithic ancestry breakdown finds that the dominant ancestry component in her genetics is the Iranian Neolithic farmer component, which comprises almost 37% of her ancestry. She also has significant Anatolian Neolithic farmer, Yamnea Indo-European, Natufian, and Caucasus hunter-gatherer ancestry. A recent ancestry model finds 52% Elamite ancestry in this sample, together with 43% Yaz culture ancestry, a component associated with the spread of Iranic speakers, and 5% Indus Valley Civilization Ancestry, a component that the Iranics picked up along the way. With my trait predictor tool, she is predicted to have light brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin, curly hair, and a Greek nose shape. She was intermediate between the warrior and warrior profiles, lactose intolerant, had intermediate D2 receptor density, high odds of autism, higher empathy, intermediate odds of cardiovascular risks, lower odds of epithelial cancers, higher odds of autoimmune disease, elevated homocysteine levels, low odds of obesity, and blood type B. She carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, micropenis, glaucoma, ankylosing spondylitis, and eosinophilic esophagitis. With beta-calc, she scored particularly high for odds of anxiety disorder, esophageal cancer, hypertension, lung cancer, Parkinson's disease, skin cancer, stroke, ovarian cancer, and type 1 diabetes. She scored particularly low for odds of Alzheimer's, asthma, bipolar disorder type 1, breast cancer, colorectal cancer, coronary artery disease, dermatitis, heart attack, and mental disorders. You can purchase her genome in 23andMe format from the link in the description. Links to purchase my products and services will also be in the description.